Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tom Mason here, back with another video, and today we are talking about one of the most important things in photography, and that is protecting your data and keeping your images safe. Now, over the last couple of years, I've been lucky enough to shoot different assignments around the world, and from that, I've amassed a large number of pictures. Um, pictures from some of the most incredible wildlife encounters, the most enjoyable moments, and the idea of losing them fills me with such dread, I can't even explain it. I mean. Just for a moment, imagine losing all of your pictures. Every single one. It's horrible. Don't, just don't imagine it. Put it out of your mind, because we're gonna do something about it. You know, all the time people talk about investing in the sexy stuff, the lenses, the cameras, the drones, all of those things, but they miss hard drives, because hard drives are believed to be just meh. So over the last couple of years, I've been looking for kind of the best solution for myself in terms of managing a large amount of data, but also keeping it protected with redundancy and also a remote backup. And recently I kind of teamed up with Synology because I really feel their products are just really pushing the boundaries for providing really simple solutions that offer a great selection of features um, for, you know, the average person, you know, kind of like business level specs for the home user that is just absolutely incredible. Um, so today I wanna to talk you through what I use, why I use it, and how I keep my stuff backed up. Now, firstly, the Synology units are NAS units. And what does that mean? Well, NAS is Network Attached Storage. Basically, instead of the drive running straight to your computer, it runs into your router at home. That means that you can access it over your local network. And that's really handy because it means that my data is accessible from my main computer, my MacBook, my iPhone, uh, iPad, whatever you've got. You can all hook them up so you can read your storage from anywhere over your local network. That means you don't have to kind of keep plugging in different drives. It's just all centralized. You know, it's a micro server for anyone at home. Now, another benefit of the NAS storage solution is also its ability to work remotely. Um, Synology have something called Quick Connect that basically means I can log into my drive anywhere in the world. That means if I'm away on location and I've got some pictures that I'm like, God, these are great. I wanna make sure these are protected. I can log in remotely to my home drive, deposit my pictures home before I've even left the country where I'm working. Meaning that if I was to lose a drive whilst I was away, I can actually back up the hero shots, the best images whilst on location and keep them secure and safe right back at home. That's a really cool feature and something that I find super, super useful. Now, the Synology units, as well as being NAS units, also incorporate RAID technology. Now, RAID is a redundant array of independent disks and it's very key to make the distinction between RAID and backup. RAID is not a backup solution. RAID is a redundancy solution. Um, redundancy of disk failure. What it does is it um, kind of separates the data over multiple drives. So then if a drive fails, um, you have the redundancy and the system can rebuild um, the data that would have been lost. I have mine set up with Synology Hybrid RAID 2. Um, that's equivalent of RAID 6. Basically what it means is I can lose two drives at home. They can both fail at exactly the same time. And I would still be able to recover all of my data on my home disk station by putting new, two new drives in. It would just rebuild the system. That's super handy, you know, so useful. Also, because the data is striped over multiple drives, you still get really good speeds um, with working with data and, you know, managing stuff like that. That's really handy. Now, of course, this isn't a backup solution because someone could just pick this up and run away with it and you still lose all your data. So RAID is not a backup. You've got to have two copies in two different places for it to be a backup. And that's why I have a separate Synology unit, um, a 218 um, offsite at a different location that backs up this unit remotely. And I'll talk more about the package and how I do that a little bit later. Now the disk station I have here is the DS1517 Plus. And the Plus is really cool because it makes it one of the Plus series. That means in the future I can add extra units like this um, that basically just connect and I can add more drives to expand that RAID um, so I can just have more and more bays and increase my storage capacity exponentially. But to give you a basic rundown of what's inside, um, I have mine populated fully with Seagate Iron Wolf drives. These are excellent high performance drives for using in uh, NAS devices because they're on all the time and there's a high number of vibrations 
vibrations. These are built specifically to deal with that. Um, these are awesome. Massive shout out to Seagate for supporting me with these. Now, to putting them in the Synology is really simple. Just has these pull tabs that you just push, place the device in, um, put your hard drive in, and then click it back in. And then once everything's clicked back in, um, you can just slide it into the drive. You know, you put all five drives in and it's ready to go. And to get started on the drive and get it all sorted out, all you have to do is slot your drives in, plug it in, connect it to your router with the gigabit ethernet port that's on the back. Really fast speeds that's fantastic for home sharing and streaming. And then you go onto your browser, log into your computer and go into your browser and just type in find.synology.com. Now, when you've typed in find.synology.com, what will happen is it will search your local network and find your drive and will bring up a simple walkthrough of how you set up your disk station manager. It's really easy to do, it takes about five minutes, and then after you've got everything programmed in, it will shut the drive down, have about 10 minutes to sort everything to, program your drive, and you'll be ready to go. And in this setup stage, you can program the sort of RAID where you'd like to use, um, using the disk station manager software um, that is based online, so you can access it anywhere, that's fantastic. And what I did was set mine up as Synology Hybrid RAID 2, that basically means that although I've got 20 terabytes of storage here, I'm actually using an effective 12 to give me two disk redundancy. Very simple setup and just gives me great redundancy at home. So with everything set up and your disk station ready to go, all you have to do is create the kind of files that you want and populate your disk station. Uh, you'll add shared files and stuff like that that you can use and add your data to. And then there's a couple of systems that are gonna allow you um, to easily back up your data onto your Synology. Now, what I do because I use a primary Thunderbolt drive where my Lightroom catalog is stored, I want to back that up um, every single day to my Synology to make sure uh, that I've got all my latest pictures ready and safe at home. And to do that, I use the CloudStation backup software. Now, the CloudStation backup software is a really easy plugin. Um, you download it through the Disk Station Manager that you'll do online, and then you can also download a version for your computer. Just go onto Synology, go in, plug in your number for your thing, and you'll find all of the kind of compatible software. I download that to my computer, and simply all I have to do is open the app, select the folders, drives, anything that I want to back up, and it will automatically create a backup kind of sync that every time something new is added to that folder, it will automatically back it up to my Synology, keeping everything safe and secure. If something would be um, deleted off of the primary folder, say I deleted 50 photos of my um, Lightroom, what it wouldn't do is delete them from the Synology. It has a sync where it keeps all the data and keeps adding and it doesn't delete stuff, um, just meaning you can go back and have a super safe backup of all those files just in case you accidentally deleted a whole set of data that's really, really cool. And that also functions as soon as you want, you can set it up to work whatever time of day you want it to do. If you want it to do it at four in the morning when you're all in bed, it will do that absolutely fine, automatically programmed, easy to go. And that's how I get most of my data from my primary drive stored to my Synology as my first level of my backup. So that's my home backup solutions sorted. You know, all my data saved from my primary drive onto the Synology. But what if there was a catastrophic disaster, a robbery or something like that, and I lost all my home computing equipment? Well, that's where my second NAS comes in and the fantastic Hypervolt backup from Synology is useful for keeping everything safe and stored off site. Now what Hypervolt backup does is you install it to both your off site and on site Synology. And by doing this, it twins the two so you can have a synced folder. Meaning that what it allows you to do is select the folders from one NAS and make sure that they are copied and backed up on your off site NAS um, on a running schedule. So you might have it once a week, once a month, whatever you want to do, it automatically syncs them across the internet. So any pictures that are added to my catalog are added to this drive and then sent across the internet to my off-site backup in a secret location. That drive is RAID 1, so it has two disks in it, both of 12 terabytes. So I have four copies of all my data 
um, in two separate locations, giving me fantastic redundancy at home, as well as giving me offsite backup and protection, um, you know, away from the studio, just in case something mad happened. And that's how I keep my data safe and secured. That's really ultra helpful. And the whole thing is super easy to set up with the Synology system. You know, there's a huge number of walkthrough guides um, on their website. The help center is fantastic for any of those questions you might have. Um, but there's also a load of other features that I'm really just starting to delve into with the Synology. One of the things I've got is a USB slot on the front of my drive. If I take any USB device, say I've got a hard drive and plug it in, it automatically backs up anything on that onto my drive in a separate folder, meaning I can quickly make backups of any work that I might have been doing on the road. Another feature that's super handy is the ability to share files directly from my drive with a client. Um, I can password protect anything I want to send out and almost like um, having a shared folder, I can send large volumes of data to people that they can log in, access and use the files remotely um, whilst also partition it so they can't see the rest of my data. A really cool little feature that's ultra handy if you're sharing work with multiple people and sharing your pictures out as a professional. Really nice thing to have. You know, ultimately, the whole thing that's really important here is the idea of having multiple backups and good redundancy within whatever system you're using. You know, you want to have redundancy at home so if you lose a drive, you can get up and running quickly and without any loss of data, but also have a full backup of all your images off-site with someone else. You know, you don't have to have a full integrated system, but one thing that's really handy is just giving another drive to a friend or something like that. And personally, with the price point that some of the lower end Synologies are, I think they're a fantastic investment for anyone, whether you're an enthusiast photographer or a professional, um, to really protect your data. They do single drive version, two drive version, five drive version, up to like 50 drive versions, depending how big your business is, that are gonna allow you to manage your data, share files, and also back things up from anywhere in the world in a very simple solution. And I'm really, really impressed with them on the whole. You know, it was simple to set up, easy to work with, and I'm constantly finding new updates and features that I'm starting to bring into my workflow. And I'm sure that in the future, I'll be doing more videos on how I'm integrating my kind of backroom process to be more efficient. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you take anything from today, please back up your pictures. Go and check out the Synology products. They are awesome for any photographers who want to have a really solid backup of all their images. If you've got any questions about any of this stuff, drop it in the comments below. More than happy to get back to you. Um, and of course, you know, if you have any questions about the Synology, go check their website, synology.com. Loads of really good stuff over there. So if you want to see any more wildlife photography content, be sure to subscribe. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please drop us a like and I'll see you in the next one.